One of the best things I have done for my business is started an email list early. While it takes time and effort to grow your email list, but if you are consistent, you will absolutely see the rewards. I use ConvertKit as my email marketing software, and I love it. And if you would like to test it for yourself, check out the link in the description to get your first 1,000 subscribers for free. And I have an extra bon bonus for you. I have designed three free email templates ready for you to use, so make sure to grab them as well. In today's video, I will show you three ways you can connect Squarespace and ConvertKit together. First one is by embedding a form on your website. The second one would be connecting it via the IPI key to connect your Squarespace shop. And the third one is by using a third-party tool like Zapier, and I'll explain each method and when to use them. If you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. My name is Ksenia. I'm a brand and website designer. And here I share Squares website design, marketing tips and tutorials for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. The first most obvious way we can connect Squarespace and ConvertKit is by embedding a form. So it could be subscribe to our newsletter. It could be by delivering a freebie. If you have some sort of a, a PDF that you created that you would like to share with your audience, we can simply embed that into our Squarespace website. I'm logged into one of most recent templates. If you don't know, we create the most amazing Squarespace templates, so make sure to check them out. And here is my test account I have created for the ConvertKit to show you the tutorial. Once you logged into the ConvertKit, on the top bar menu, you're gonna see the grow, and this is where you're gonna find your subscribers, and this is where you can create a landing pages and forms to embed on your, and if you would like to email your subscribers, you would go to the tab name send, and this is where you would send a, a sequence, a broadcast, you can create your email templates. And if you want to automate the delivery, you would go to the next tab, which is automate. Let's start by going to the grow tab and creating a form that we would like to embed on our website. Because it's a brand new account, there is no graphs shown here, but once you start building your account, building your email list, you're gonna see more movement on this page. All the landing pages that you have created are gonna be stored over here. We're gonna create a new form. The difference between a form and a landing page is a landing page could be a stand page, which you can link to from your website, and a form, it's something that has to be embedded into the page on your website. You have a few options here, sticky bar, a slide to the side. The model means that it's gonna cover the whole page and the user won't be able to log out unless they press that like close button, or it could be an inline. Let's create an inline form. You also have a few templates to choose from. I'm just gonna create the most simple one where the user would enter their name and their email address and subscribe to your email list. So let's choose this one. Currently, we only have email address. If you want to have their name as well, just click plus icon and select first name. Then the next thing we can type call to action here. You want it to be subscribe, get it for free, whatever the purpose of this particular form is, make sure to address it in the call to action. And we can also change the color, they just wanted black and white. And here we can adjust the border radius. We can make it very rounded or just remove it altogether like that. Then we would like to give it a name to our form, something that you will remember. We can also preview it. This is how it will look. Next, we're gonna go to settings. And here there is a few things that you can also adjust. Adjust the message, you just highlight and type here because they're typing. You can redirect them after they subscribe to this email list. You can redirect them to an external page. This could be any page on your website. Let's say, I'm just gonna go to my website. And let's say I want to redirect them to my shop page. I would copy this. Now let's click save and publish. If we embed this form, we just wanna copy this code and go back to our website, click edit. And let's say I would like to embed this in my footer. Instead of this, I would add, I would search for the code, click this pencil icon and just paste the code in here. We can make it a little larger like this. 
and we would also want to adjust this okay let's preview it let's test our email let's do an email at gmail.com and the first names and we're going to just click this call to action and you see it immediately have been redirected to my shop page because that's what i asked the convert kit to do the second way you can connect convert kit in your squarespace website is by using an external api kit and the reason why you would do it if you have a store all of my products are sold via the squarespace platform so every time when somebody purchases let's say this template the data from the person who have purchased like an email what they purchased etc would be automatically sync with a convert kit account this is the current pricing for the squarespace and this option is only available for squarespace commerce advanced and it's not available on the commerce basic plan after somebody have purchased a product from my website, I can send a follow-up email or I can send a recommendation of another product that I might like, etc., which would increase an overall conversion on your store. First, we need an IPI key, which you can get from your website. All you have to do is log into this page, then go to the setting and developer tools and here developer IPI keys. Here you want to generate the key. You want to make sure to click orders and read and write. You can also give this a name and generate the key. I'm not going to do it because I already have that. But once you do it, there is going to be a key that you want to copy. Once you uh, copy the key, you want to go to your ConvertKit account. And from here, you want to click an automate and uh, click the app. Scroll down until you find the Squarespace. I currently have already installed my key because my ConvertKit and Squarespace have already been connected. But basically what you have to do is click on install. Then you have to authorize the access to wherever the app you're using. In our case, we're using Squarespace. So you would click authorize and then it's going to pop you up to log in to that platform. And then it's going to give you an option to insert the key that we have just generated. And in that case, your Squarespace shop and your convert email softwares are going to be connected and you're going to be able to automate some of the tasks like post-purchases emails that are going to be sent to your customer. And the third option, how we can connect Squarespace and ConvertKit is a very specific use scenario that probably not a lot of people will actually use, but I'm still going to show you. And it's by connecting Squarespace, ConvertKit and Zapier. And the only reason why we would need that is, for example, if I go to pages and I'm just going to create a test page and let's pretend like I have a contact form here. So I'm just going to add a blank page and I'm going to add a form. I'm going to name this form something that I will be able to identify. So I'm going to name it Zap. And you can obviously customize wherever the fields you need for this form. But this is not the purpose of this tutorial. So I have this form and basically when somebody fills out this form, I want this person to be automatically added to my uh, convert account as a subscriber. I'm going to click save and exit. Now you want to create an account in Zapier. Currently Zapier offers a free plan, which would allow you to have up to a hundred tasks when a one person fills out this form and their information is being transferred to the convert kit that would count as a one automation as one task so you can have up to 100 tasks uh, available via this automation let's go to zapier we want to create a zap the first thing we have to select is a trigger and a trigger is something that triggers this automation in our case this form when this form is being submitted it will trigger the automation so that's why we're going to look for the square space here so let's select the square space and here we would choose an event and currently this is the only event that is available for square space in zapier is new form submission so let's click that and click continue i already have my uh, square space account connected but if you don't you can connect it over here it's pretty simple then we click continue 
and then we want to look for the form because we could have a numerous forms on our website. So we want to make sure that we select a, a particular form. In our case, we named it Zap. Here, I'm going to select this form. You want to make sure that you select the exact form that you want and click continue. So it seems like we just tested our form and it's working. Continue with the selected and now we want to have an action, which is in our case, an action would be to add the subscriber to a convert kit. So we want to select the convert kit. We want to choose an event. And I think the most appropriate event would be to add sub subscriber a tag. So before we do that, let's log in back to the convert kit, click on subscribers and scroll down here until you see tags. This is all the tags that I have in my account and you want to create a tag. And in our case, make sure again to name something so you would remember. So Squarespace Zap Form. Click Save. Now this uh, tag has been created. Let's go back to our Zapier integration and let's search for the tag. Squarespace. So we want to select add a tag to a subscriber. Continue. I also already have connected my ConvertKit account, um, but you can proceed with those steps. They're very simple. Continue. And now we want to search for the tag, the one we just created, which was Squarespace Zap Form. That was our tag we just created. Here um, we have to identify when somebody uh, adds an email, we have to assign a value as an email. So here we're going to scroll down to here to the email and select that. Same for the first name, we have to identify that this data has to be assigned as a first name. So we wanna select a name and press continue. Let's test it and it seems like it's working. So the last thing we have to do is click publish. Our event has been successful. To summarize what we've done, every time when somebody submits a form on my website, this particular form, not every form, when somebody submits the information to this particular form, the Zapier would transfer the data, which is the first name and email of the person who submits this form to ConvertKit, and it will tag that person with a tag Squarespace Zap form. That's the tag that would be assigned to every person who completes this form on my website. So now we can create different email campaigns or different sequences. For example, if you want to automate an email and it depends what is this form is being used for, but if it's a form uh, that you collect your client information, you can automate an email inside the kit to go out immediately or 30 minutes after they submitted a form with a particular email to welcome them or to deliver a particular information that are necessary for them to have after they submitted this form. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.